So we're here at the Cavion booth, and uh, you're from uh, Monta Vista, right? Yeah. So who are you? I'm Jim Gallagher. I'm a, a senior marketing uh, team lead. And uh, here you're holding a board which is uh, using Octeon TX? Correct. This is for our, our, our parent company, Cavion. So this is the Octeon TX, the 81XX. It's got four cores. It is the uh, Octeon family with uh, uh, the ARM cores, the uh, ARM V8 64-bit uh, ARM cores. So there's Thunder X for more like uh, servers, and what is the Octeon TX for? It's for embedded. So for, for embedded. people that want more embedded, so lower power but high performance, um, be able to do offload. Uh, that's this is an extension of the Octeon family. Uh, with ARM cores. So let's check over here. What is this demo that you have? It says uh, secure IoT gateway for always on, always connected devices. Absolutely. So this is our uh, proof of concept demo of uh, an IoT gateway. So the intention is that you're going to have sensors, uh, devices the end at the edge. This is just a, a sensor for humidity and temperature. We're reading temperature, humidity, and we're pushing the data across Zigbee. It could be Wi-Fi, it could be 6 pan it could be a CAN bus or Profi bus. We're feeding it into the uh, 81XX board. This is an engineering board, the EVB. It's running Monobus's CGX 2.0. We're collecting the data and putting it in a simple SQL database, and we're displaying it uh, in a web browser. So if you make some changes, you would actually see a graph go up. It's just a simple way of showing that today, if somebody is building an IoT gateway, we can actually get them running within a day or two. Right. The CGX uh, 2.0. Yep. Is that uh, the Linux? The kind of Linux that you do? Yeah. So it's carry, it stands for Carry Grade Express uh, 2.0. It's based on a 4.1 or 4.4 Linux kernel. We're always long-term support a kernel. That's all we do. Right. So the intention we support our customers for at least 10 years. Uh, both from a GA and long-term maintenance standpoint. Uh, it has got uh, GNU 5.2 toolchain uh, and a lot of different features. IoT is what we're showing here from a connectivity standpoint. So we'll do like Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, cellular modem, Lua, Java, right? Really anything that somebody today would want to get going with uh, for, a, uh, for an IoT gateway, right? So Montevista has been working on ARM car Linux for a long time. Long time, yeah. So we've done... One of the uh, first ones. I, I think one of the first ones, yeah, from a long, probably at least 10, 15 years, right? And uh, now working together uh, with, uh, with Cavium is going to yeah, be so pretty we, cool, Yeah, so we are right? definitely owned by Cavium. We're a wholly owned subsidiary. So they, 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 we are a little separate from them, but certainly part of the company. We have a very strong relationship with Cavium. So any of the new processors, whether it be Octeon MIPS or Octeon uh, ARM, we, we're typically one of the first ports out. We, we work hand in hand with our engineering to do optimization, uh, inclusion of the SDK, uh, so that enables our customers to have a really true uh, platform to get to get going to market as quickly as possible. Do you work with Monero in uh, order to get things optimized? So we are part of Monero. We we do a lot of work with them. Uh, Cavium as well is part of Monero. We do, we do they do a lot of work with them. So the intention is that we're 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 hoping to uh, uh, make it a lot easier for our uh, ecosystem from an ARM standpoint, so our customers can take advantage of middleware, uh, other things, especially optimized for the ARM platform. So how big is Cavium uh, uh, right now with the uh, embedded uh, world? Big, big players. Big player, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. I mean, if you're thinking of ARM, you're thinking of ARM VAs or 64-bit, especially from a better standpoint. You should be thinking about Cavi. All right. So looking forward to the and the Octian TX family has up to 24 core. Correct. So yeah. there's all kinds of different use cases. Absolutely. So designs. and keep in mind also it has offload capability. So if you want to do encryption uh, from a bulk offload standpoint from an SSL, you, the, the the offload engines are there available to you. It takes very minimal. That what that means to you is that your your encryption standpoint or any security standpoint. Are, are offloaded to a separate engine, therefore your ARM cores are not taxed, and they can still do any of your applications. So you could have anything from uh, sec security, uh, authentication, whatnot, and then you can still have your applications running from the ARM cores to take advantage of that. So highly optimized system that you you fully take advantage of and obviously get going with it with uh, your application. Nice, and all these uh, solutions uh, shipping. Ready for so CGX 2.0 is generally available uh, from an Octeon TX standpoint. We're in early access. We will be GA by the end of Q4. Uh, Octeon TX is actually in sample mode. If there, if anybody's interested in looking at Octeon TX, I highly suggest you get a hold of your local Cavian sales rep.